is up, guys? My name is Mark Senemaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog, guys. We are still in San Antonio, Texas for the PN Racing North American Championships. Racing's done for a day. It's Saturday. And uh, there's just so many cool things. If you didn't catch the first two vlogs I did here, I did a vlog on the actual race. And then I did a tour of this amazing facility. But after you saw the tour, you're probably realizing that there was not a single one. There was no chance that I was getting out here without buying a car. And I bought a car. Actually, I bought more than one car. I bought, yeah, I, got, I buy two of everything. So, uh, yeah, they have an amazing grip track. Um, out, just right out, right out, the, right out the store and off to the left here. Um, again, if you haven't seen it, I did get it in the other video. You're going to see it in this video, too, because today, we bought a drift car, and it's not just any drift car. We bought one of these. Look at that. This is the Mini Z all wheel drive drift car. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I, I drove someone else's car. It was it was too cool not to get, so I ended up picking one up. Um, but they were so pretty. I was looking at them, I was like, wow. Look how pretty they are. Um, yeah, I bought two. I mean, I, I, I can't just buy one, right? You guys know that I buy two of everything, so we're gonna open one of these up. You're gonna see what's in it, and if I if I understand it correctly, I can literally just buy this thing, put batteries that I already have for my Mini Z in here, and go drift it on the drift track. So let's do it. All right, as I'm trying to open this thing up, I see see people are already drifting just here in the store. That's the one that I bought. We're about to open up right now. Look at oh, look at this little drift one. He's coming in hot. Yeah, I got to get mine out. He has his out there. I think he's going out to the drift track. But dude, these things are freaking awesome. I mean, how can you not want to get one of these things? All right, I lowered the camera a little bit. Let's open this thing up. I swear, if I can just throw batteries in it and go, I'm super happy. That, that's what I've come to, guys. You would think a hobbyist like me, I like I want to build everything. For me, it's all about convenience now. If I can throw. If I can throw batteries in this thing and go, that is a huge win. So let's see what we got in the box here. So in the box you have, I think these are spurs and pinions. So it comes with spurs and pinions. Obviously since this one's all-wheel drive, the different one is all-wheel drive, it's a little bit different in regards to the different uh, pinions you get, like on a rear-wheel drive. So on a rear-wheel drive you get three pinions. This one comes with three pinions and two spur gears. It comes with your little cones, which we know that we've already gotten, we've already used cones before and open, un unbox many of these cones in it. And then it comes with your tools. Don't lose these tools because these are super helpful. It has your wheel nut tool. And then I forgot what this other pointy tool is for, but it's for something really important. I forgot what it's for though. And then of course, your 2-4 radio. And all you need are triple A's, which I have triple A's. Hold on, I got them. I got, I got triple A's. All right, triple A's right here. We'll throw some triple A's in here. We should be able to just throw triple A's in the, in the remote, in the car, and be ready to go. All right, see, so you see it do this blinking thing? This blinking thing means it's in beginner mode. You definitely want it out of there. So I think you pull the trigger, turn it on, and then it does something. Marcus, 12 seconds behind there you go. Now it's off beginner mode. So when it's solid like that, that means it's off beginner mode. So basically, you turn it off, pull the trigger, turn it on, and when it goes solid, let go. It will blink a little bit. I think that's how you do it. I just did it because I did it a second ago, and I thought that's how it works. Okay, so you do have to get the screws off the bottom here. Which I have that because I got all my race stuff. Ah, look at it. It's so fresh. Oh man, oh, we need to get this. Gioso said, off here. Gio 7, Daniel 8, Rank 19, Ryan. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Look at how clean that is. Hopefully, since it's a drift car, it won't get beat up so bad. I'm going to limit how much Ethan drives it because Ethan's the one that breaks all the cars. I will let him drive it, but I know you're right there. I know you're right here, bud. All right, let's see. We can just pull this out right here on the sides here. So that one, two, three uh -oh. is pretty close. Uh -oh. And then from there, down there, still yeah, four tenths of a second oh, yeah, I do. behind your lead. Just like the two-wheel drive, you pull it on the sides of the body, and Come then it drops out, looks there, just so like this. Uh, let me get you left, some. Though. Let's see what it dropped down uh. to. Two seconds. Oh, I was like, the battery door is gone. Go the battery door is separate from the car. Here is the battery door. That's it looks like the four triple A's go into the side there. The way that looks right there. See if you can get that. I'll make sure you can get that good. Let me focus on it right there. Oh, look at that. Look how focused that is on it. 
Looks like it's trying to get like I'm behind me now. Dang it! All right, I'll get more. I'll get more shots <laughs> up close. But the battery door is in here, so we're gonna open this up. They're making fun of me because I messed I messed up my recording. So there's this little this little play that goes inside here. This is still hold this little play right here. It's still hold the car in the box. Uh, you got to remove this plate to put the batteries in. And I had to apply a lot of pressure. I was scared I was gonna break it, but I got it off and I didn't break it. Let's put some batteries in this thing. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with fire. All right, here we go. We, we want to we want to cook with fire, but all right, let's see if this thing turns. Oh yeah, let's go drip this thing. The boys are just sitting back here. Y'all are gonna get to drive too. Yeah, dreaming. All right, here we go. Evan's recording, so if he messes it up, that's all on him. Oh man, this is fun. I, I just gotta figure out how to drive it. I think this is easier to drift than the other car, actually. The bigger car. Oh, don't clip it. Don't mess up my wing. Oh man, I got, I got this down. We gotta take this to the track. No! Whoa, I was close! Oh, here comes the. Oh, he's coming with blinking lights. Whoa, that was close. Oh man, he's, he's got a lot of confidence with his. I want confidence with mine. I think this is easier to drift in that that temp scale with the uh, gyro in it. Oh, I can't see it. There it is. Uh oh, where am I going? All right, Evan, you want to try? Yeah. All right, so I will say that driving these Mini Z drift cars is way easier. So we drove a 10 scale, like an actual 10 scale drift car with a gyro in it, and it wasn't easy to drive. Like these are a lot easier to drive. It's freaking awesome. These are so much fun. We're about to take this to a drift track and call it a day. Oh man. Oh. We got a rare situation where they're not playing music, which is nice. Alright, so there's there it is. That is the Mini Z drift car. Evan's driving it right now. Um it's different than other oh, what was that? It's different than other drift cars because the way you get I just drove an actual drift car and I could not drive it. Uh, this one is a lot easier to drive. Basically to get the back end to whip around, you just give it a little bit of th more throttle. Oh nice Evan. Uh oh. And then it, it whips around. So Evan's hitting everything now. He was doing the track pretty good. Let's see if Evan can do a clean lap here. There you go. Nice, nice. But it was cool. There was a whole bunch of cars out here earlier when we were practicing with it. And ba <laughs> basically, there's this little itty bitty mini Z. There's another mini Z right there. But these things are so cool. They're so much fun because it's so rewarding when you get a nice clean lap in. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh yeah, see this guy's this guy's moving. Oh man. Our car should be able to do that. But we need a driver mod. Nice, golly, that guy's just ripping. Oh, he clipped something. Oh he, there's a car there, that's why. Okay, there's Evan. These things are so easy to drive when it comes to like a a drift car. Like I said, I drove a real drift car, it was not easy. This is so much easier and so much fun. Oh my god, Evan can't, Evan can't get it together. Um, but I think this will be perfect on like hardwood floor, which we have at the house. I stepped back, even though the cars weren't close, because I was looking through the camera. And thought, oh, Evan almost got crushed. All right, I got to drive this thing. Oh man, guys, I'm sitting here talking to Jose, and I think what we really like about it, or what I really like about it, he agreed, is, you know, your car is sliding a lot. It's not going super fast, so you don't really brake much. It's just fun to just, you know, just drive a car. You're not having to go flip it over. You're not breaking anything. And it's, again, it's super rewarding when you get all the way through. When you get all the way, oh my God, you think you just got crushed. Uh, when you get all the way through a full lap with no perfect drift. 
It's so much fun. But Jose likes the uh, the like the middle parts, like the the scenery. Like whenever they set up a good scenery, which I do think those are really cool. But man, this is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. I am not gonna lie. Check out this beast. I actually think on this little track, it's almost more scale to me with the Mini Z's. Maybe that's just me because I have a Mini Z, but yeah, it's like if he goes all the way through that thing, drifting every corner without hitting a rail, it's just, it's awesome. Look at that. Oh man, that looks so sweet. Oh, he hit it. Let's see how Evan's doing over here. Oh man, these are so much fun. All right guys, it's official. I'm the new DK. They, they branded, branded me DK. I don't know why they call me DK. <laughs> Anyways guys, this thing is awesome. You guys gotta try it out. Uh, this is the Mini Z all wheel drive car, um, but it's so easy to drift and we had so much fun. It's just so rewarding to do that full lap of pure drifting. Oh man, they're freaking awesome. Uh, if you liked the video guys, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.